What is going on guys, Davis here bringing you guys a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be a breakdown of Optic Chicago versus Minnesota Rocker, that game number five that was just, it was wild man. To be honest, I really feel bad for the Optic Chicago squad, that's like one of the toughest ways to lose. It's just a crushing loss. I can't even think of anything else Optic could have done in that situation. I don't really put anybody at blame because the comms right there are bound to be insane. There's just no way, like 99 out of 100 times they win that shit, 999 out of 1000 times they win that round. but. Let's just get into it and break down the map as a whole because I actually thought Optic played a really good map. So let's get into it, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. All right, so Optic do a SQ or a SQ push here, uh, just basically rushing a bomb site, which I really like as a squad. I send three guys immediately, and then they have formal watch the outer, and then two guys go enter. This is what you want. So Envoy gets through, Rocker gives that up, and then he gets the first blood. So beautiful. Scump wins his gunny. Now they have control of the site. So yeah, it was perfectly executed. You four, you four push the three push the site really. Four, fourth guy wraps back. You get double nade off the bomb site. Actually, a really smart, intelligent play by Rocker on the two before retake. Because there's no trophies in round one. Not too much to really break down there. Besides, Rocker giving up eskies is a huge risk. Um, and that was obviously an error in their setup. And so Chicago must have done their voter view, or is just a nice blind counter call. All right, so Optic does a two push mid. I think it's the only time that we see this look from Optic on this map. They send two through mid here and then two towards A. It's a nice play because you can collapse up to A. You just got to shimmy here and not lose your gunfights. They get blind countered by Rocker as Rocker sends three people mid. So one guy gets taken out, yeah. And then right here, he does a good job. It's Scump uh, backing up and playing his life after Dashy dies. So they got blind countered and Rocker do a good job at getting that kill and all getting away with their life, grouping up and pushing towards A. Envoy wins the gunfight, which is huge. Informal's there for the trade. I just think that that is a beautiful crossfire. Uh, Optic was ready for it. As soon as they backed up, you know, they took the gamble like, hey, they they might come A, so let's just stick to our guns here and go A. If they go B, we'll retake. And they go A, and they run right into the guns of Optic, and which is a beautiful crossfire setup they have. Envoy and Formal were ready for it. Um, and they took a gamble, and it paid dividends. So love the reaction out of Optic, not like going crazy, worrying about them going B, just... Saying, hey, they might come A, guys, so let's just hold still and see what goes down. And it works out. And then for Rocker, I mean, it's just a little bit unfortunate you lose that gunfight to Envoy. Maybe if you get him without getting a kill, with if you kill him without him getting a kill, you get away with that. Uh, ends up being a 2v1 by the time the trades go down with formal. At most, he gets like a two piece, and then, you know, you might win the round. But either way, I'm not too mad at it. I think, I think it was just more so Optic making a good play than Rocker making a bad one. All right, so here we go. So Optic send one guy towards A just to maybe get the information. He's going to jump up and down and spot over that wall. So he's going to relay that to all his teammates over here. And typically teams will leave this middle area in front of B open. So Optic's trying to get some information here, maybe cross into B or, or catch somebody, right? So it's a little, a little bit of a slower push. You're up 2-0, which is good. You want to play slower, keep them guessing. Don't give them any quick, stupid rounds where they push up and get a blood. So... I'm just doing everything right right now. Envoy is distracting well. He's throwing nades and stuff. Rocker have right now are committing three guides to A. So Optic has gotten that information. They they tap him up, get some bullets down. They're still not acting, not quite sure what they want to do. You can see they're like, all right, let's go B. So Optic are a little bit staggered on this push. I would like to see them while these nades and stuff are going down, start to actively move over towards B. Uh, but now they have two players over here. So Optic obviously playing a little bit slow. They don't want to go without the full squad. And Rocker's trying to figure out where they're going. They have an idea that they're going B, but they're not sure. Here, here we go. So Optic double jump into rugs. They get taken out. And I think Joe calls this out here. Like jumping into rugs is just... You can't, you can't just double into rugs, right? Here we go. Sort of like the standard Optic setup here. Uh, well, I guess Envoy would be at A if it was standard. But here we go. One mid... 1B, 1 Street. This is a, a split. And then we're seeing an all out push uh, towards this A bomb site. Uh, and Envoy just takes a, a tough challenge here. He's been, he was getting caught throughout the series in bad situations. Um, right here, I would love to see him just play his life. Um, you see, he gets, he loses the gunfight. Like it looks like he's with the squad, but he's really not, right? Because they're not challenging with him yet. So I would like to see him wait a second and chow together. Maybe they take him out because he gets some nice shots down. Um, and there's also not a trophy, so he could have thrown something. Uh, so just a little bit of a over challenge on the side of Envoy. And that's the round, right? So they got blind countered. Um, if you're going to play like that, a split, and they do go A, 
and you have to be ready for the retake right and that's why we see optic really not stack b often because when they when teams push a and they have a guy at b or they're spread they just get smoked because they're just not good at retaking a all right here we go round number six uh this is like just a blind counter optic this was a, a really amazing play call on whoever called this right like throughout the game sometimes you got to be like okay guys we they might go a here let's just try to counter them instantly so they hit him with a they just went a the last round they hit him with an all-out a push here three guys and uh it just it pays off man this is a really nice play call out of the boys and rockers going a again because it just worked and they feel like optic is splitting and skump wins a huge gunfight it's double child still takes one and rocker tries to dip out here and hit the rotation which i like so this is a good play out of rocker they know like if it's stacked and we got blind counter then we probably have min map open rocker gets through here and this is what dash is doing better now that he hasn't been doing in the past right like he's one in five but he's still playing the right way he sees the guy baits his life and formal gets the kill excuse trace great teamwork formals in the back building good reposition and now they're in a 4v2 where it's just basically simple collapse and execute here we still get skump. It got a little bit scary, but here we go. Envoy's here in the spot for the trade. He's on the flank. And then Stanley's in the 1v3. And that is the round. So well played. Well played. All right. So we got a two push towards A here. It's kind of what they did in round number one. But they're going to dip over towards B. You love it. Showing the look. Using their first round that they had that was a success as bait to execute later in the game. Love it. All right, so three at A here. So Optic have that opportunity here at B. They're all pushed over here. And this is a pretty tough round that they lose. Envoy goes huge here. This is a great setup. That was a perfect rotation. You guys will see. So he gets a kill on attach. And he gets two. So he goes off here. Now, now this is a simple let's set up in here and play our lives, right? So they just do something that I really don't like. So... You see, there's a door here, a window here, a door here, and rugs here. So Dash is all watching all of this. Sees Priesta, he runs away. And Priesta's not going to come back here, right? So, like, if I'm Dashy, I would just come over here and look at this street, which is what he's deciding to do. But we see Formal take kind of a maniac chow. I don't agree with it. He could have just played his life in there, maybe sat in rugs or sat somewhere in a corner on bomb. And then he gets exposed and he ends up dying. And then Skump, worried about the pinch, like he tries to push out a side. And he does. He gets the kill into accuracy. And now it's just on Priesta in the 2v1. And they line up and he gets the kill, right? So, you know, they just lined up, man. It's super tough. Skump going for the trade on formal. And then it ends up going to shit. So, I mean, I really just think it's just like buying time. Like, I would have, like, he literally gets the defuse. You know, it's 10, seven more seconds. They win the round. Like, if I'm formal i stay down here and just stay alive as long as possible i wait for them to come and collapse and then you know if we do end up dying later in that round it's fine dashy can clutch the round still so yep just a little bit of over challenge on the side of formal skump comes in he needs some help here i don't know where his assistance is he doesn't really have anybody in here with the bomb in the bomb with him but he stays alive and now his assistance comes in um is they're getting flanked as soon as he gives it up it's taken out and it comes down to a 1v1. And look who comes out on top. It's Dashy. So it's a great retake, man. The timing works out well. And, you know, I'm not too mad about it on Rocker side. It's just trades left and right inside the bomb site. Got a little bit wild and dicey there, but Opta comes out on top. So, I mean, it's great. They waited for each other. They collapsed at the exact same time. And Skump gets a big kill and they end up winning the round. Uh, like so far, man, I think Optic has played a far better SD. Like, I feel like they should have won this map already. That was a big 1v1. Formal won a big 1v1. Skump's got a couple big kills. Envoy with a major two-piece. It's working out. So here goes the, the same look that they gave round one. Um, pushing up here. Two guys through Eskies. One outer. Skump gets naded. And here's the trigger discipline where Envoy gets like a little bit nervous or something. Or, like that's just a bad play. He would have got a two-piece if he committed and went around. Um, but ends up not getting him. And just gets in a really weird spot here. So optics in a they're trapped in a 3v4 on bomb and they know where they are this is just a really tough spot i mean envoy if he just goes like that's the round if he goes through they have a great opportunity to win this game and then he ends up like baiting everybody by the way which i thought was pretty funny 
Yeah, I mean, he just made a, a really big mistake. It's just trigger discipline. He would have got behind them and got a two piece and blew that round wide open. Um, the push wasn't bad. And then he loses it. So that's just like a quick round off of one little mistake. It just sucks. And it's great plays that a rocker staying alive, playing their life and trapping them and not over challenging or giving him any kills or going around for the, the reach out. It's good. Priesto backs to his teammate, stays alive. And uh, yeah, and boy, playing for their team a little bit there. <laughs> Here we go. Here goes a push out of optic they don't want to get hit with any you know bs round 11 or excuse me round 10. Then out for them so they still realize this this is what optic gives up so let's just go here right so this is a good adjustment on a rocker even though they lost the last round like this is a good good adjustment regardless because optic do give it up so they're like hey i'd rather take our chances here than a blind counter versus gunfight so here goes the same retake strategy out of Optic. Scump in the doorway, looking for the pick. Here he gets it. He gets inside the bomb. And here's the problem that I see with this, is they have bomb site control here, and I think Dashy dies, right? So well, let's go back to here. So right here, when they retake, they have bomb site control, and they're outside, right? So where's Dashy? Dashy is number two. So right here, he just needs to hold this outer. They win the site control and they have it, right? So they can realistically go for the defuse here. And Dashy just loses the gunfight to accuracy. So not too bad on the retake. It's just, unfortunately, Dashy dies there. If he just sits back and watches the door, they could win the round. But he, like, took a challenge. So, you know, if they want to refine that, he just sits back, holds that back door, and they have bomb site control and they can win, right? So maybe it's just something they go about fixing later on in their retake. It's like, Dash, you don't need to take the chow, really. You can just throw the shoulders and... Actually does win a huge gunfight though. So I mean it's not like Dashy was in a horrible spot. You just lost the gunny. Um all right, but here we go, round eleven. And man, this is just heart wrenching. If some of you guys haven't seen this yet, man, I'm sorry. But well, I feel bad for the optic guys, man. I really, really do. They're doing the same little esky look here. I like it. That's a four push. They they're not quite sure they want to commit to it. They back up here. This is great, great S and D, and they cut through mid. Rocker is ready for it though. You can see they have a guy mid plat and a guy statue. It's sort of like a trap they have set up here. Oh, here we go, Joe. That's why you're smart. Why were we were teammates, buddy? And they wrap back through Eskies. Now that they were done here, I think they had the upper hand. They should have pushed up and got a little bit more aggressive. And then Dashy beams Priest to their huge wins. Scump and Envoy hit Eskies. They take out Standy. I think they, Standy should have committed there. I had to break down Rocker's gameplay. Like, Priest should have been throwing shoulders here, and Standy should have committed to outer. Uh, in that rotation, they would have won the round easier. Uh, but Envoy over challenges. And I know people are on him for this. I don't really hate the play. I would like to see him play in this corner here, but it's still 3v2. They should still win the round regardless. Um, Envoy's just trying to lock it down and get, that, get this area locked down for them. Um, obviously, it's not the best play, uh, but like, they can still win the round. So it's not, it's like not his fault they lost. And I don't really think it's anybody's fault they lost this map. I think it's just super unfortunate. So right here, they're ready for the pinch. They know that somebody's going to be coming in behind them. So what happens is Scump gets in this corner and Dashy doesn't want to get caught. So here, let me run this actually just a little bit. Just a little bit. So uh, I'm going to break this down for you guys. So Dashy wins the gunfight. All right, so 2v4. Envoy pushes up here trying to get just ultimate map control. He ends up dying. Whatever, not the best play. So... Dashy doesn't want to die from accuracy here. The nade comes out. Formal calls out that nade, right? He's like, I'm weak. I'm in the corner. He can wide peek. Get down. So if, if accuracy were to wide peek, he would kill Dashy. He was out here by bomb. So Dashy gets in the same corner as Scump. Then Scump calls out, yo, there's going to be a guy pinching. So he turns. So you can see Dashy's gun's going back and forth right here. Trying to pick up both sides, right? So Dashy doesn't know exactly know what to do. Both people are pandemonium round 11 calling out. Scump wins the gunfight. He's weak, 30 HP. Formal's weak from that nade. So they're all down. And then accuracy chows and like jumps, gets the one bullet on the scump because he's 30 HP. Dashy doesn't want to shoot and kill his teammates and like one in a million chance that that happens. Just unfortunate, man. But you can sort of get into their minds on what's happened here. Like Formal's like, I'm naked, he's in the alley. Scump's like, this guy pinching. Is Dashy like, okay, so he gets in the corner, he doesn't want to die. And then bam, everybody's weak. Dashy doesn't want to shoot his teammates, shoots at the very end, gets taken out. You can't make it up. One of the most ridiculous, unlucky, just stupid things I've ever seen in Call of Duty history. But gotta tip the hat.
Got a tip its accuracy. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn those notifications on. I'll see you guys in the next video and on broadcast. Peace.